Hi y'all, thanks so much for joining me for another crafty project share. This is Ink, Paper, Scissors, and Fun, and I am here participating for the first time in Saturday Morning Makes. If you do not know what that is, I'll leave information in the description box below so you can find out and participate if you'd like. It is hosted by the lovely Jill Norwood. If you don't know who Jill Norwood is, you are certainly missing out. I'll make sure and leave her link in the description box below so you can go on over and show her some crafty love. The hashtag is hashtag sat mourn makes and I'll leave that in the description box below so you can see others who are participating as well. So here I am showing you a Hello Bluebird die set. It has Mary Fala la 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 and believe. Here is another one I used. It is by Stamping Bella. It is bundled girl with penguin and is just a super cute image. I also used this Avriel set and you can pause the video if you'd like to get the name of this set. It's down there in the bottom right hand corner. I used this sentiment which says tis the season to be jolly. And I absolutely love the moose and the little characters on the sled and can't wait to use them for Christmas cards this year. Here is another Avriel set and I used the Santa and Mr. Claus as you can see. Santa and Mrs. Claus, excuse me, and here are the dies and you can see them on that first card there. I did use a wonky dot stencil, I believe it is, and for this one I ink blended and you'll see that card and then I flipped it over and sprayed it down with the ink because I used distress oxide and picked up the ink and that is the pattern I got. So I think it looks great for a Christmas card background. I did use a stitch snowbank die to cut out the snowbank at the bottom and I did use a small snowflake from one of the sets that I showed you the Avery L sets and added a few sparkly se sequins and there is that sentiment that says tis the season to be jolly I think this card turned out really cute and will be great for Christmas here is the one that uses the stamping Bella with the girl and the penguin writing on the back of her scarf I did want to jazz it up a little bit so I added gold embossing powder to two of the sides which is from Ranger which I really love. I need to order some more because I'm almost out from using it so much. So anyways I added two gold sequins and three flat back sequins that are pink and sparkly and iridescent. So we'll be moving on to the next card in just a second. And there you can kind of see the iridescence of the sequins. This card I made several of. This first one is using a stencil from the Rabbit Hole Designs and it's in my favorite color pink and I used Gold Merry Christmas. The gold glitter paper comes from a Michaels Hot Buy paper pad and the Christmas stamp comes from one of those Avriel sets. And I used some sparkly sequins on this one as well. Here we are moving on to the next card in just a second. It is the same design, but this card is the one that I originally ink blended and then I flipped it over to get the Santa card and that's what I'm showing you here that when you do stencils you can get two for one. So this one has silver sparkly paper that was in a pack that I got from Hobby Lobby and I used flat sequins from the rabbit hole design I believe they were a free gift and then I stamped out the Christmas and used a sentiment strip die for that and here is the last card another Merry Christmas this one is in green glitter with the green flat sequins and is similar to the other cards and this background was achieved the same way as the first card that I showed you so I want to thank you all so much for stopping by Thank you for all my new subscribers. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the bell notification so you're notified each time I upload a video. Thanks for stopping by.